today, Coach Nelson and I will be taking you guys through a 20 minute home hit workout. worked out a day in your life don't worry about it all you beginners follow me i'm using a pair of canned goods that's it coach nelson he's gonna use a pair there's a pair of eight tens and fifteens over there that's all you need okay so if you've never worked out before follow me all of my avid exercisers follow coach nelson let's do this so the very first exercise we're gonna do a side lunge and a reverse lunge so let me demonstrate when you do your side lunge you're going to step over to the right side my left leg is straight my right knee is bent feet together that same leg goes back and lunges okay so you can hold some weights there coach nelson i'm not even going to hold any weights because for my beginners out there this is already challenging all right so we're going to start lunging to the right side okay you ready so right foot lunges oh even, oh wow, you know what I almost forgot? Talk to the people, Coach Nelson. I almost forgot my timer. So are you ready? All I'm using here, guys, is a 10 uh, pound dumbbells. Uh, based on what Coach Crystal is going to take us, we are going to be burning. So, I mean, you will be able to see whether if the weight that you're using is like this time around, or you can heavy it up and challenge yourself and use something heavier. But I know in the past, the past two episodes, Coach Crystal had killed me. So I'm going to make sure I can use moderate weight. So Here we're going to go. lunge to the right, come back up, the same leg, reverse lunge. Perfect. Let's do that again. So lunge to the right, same lunge, same leg, lunges back. Okay, lunge to the right, come back up, reverse lunge. So each exercise is 45 seconds in length with a 15 second break in between. Perfect. We have 20 seconds left. So this is also our warm up. The, the easiest way to warm up is by working the leg. That's it. And the quickest way, 10 seconds left. Good. And now if you can't go as low as I can, don't worry about it. You do your best. And that's all. That's all. Yes. Perfect. Rest. Okay. So next, with my canned goods in hand, we're going to squat. You're going to give me a hammer curl. So palms face each other. Then you're gonna press both arms up for an overhead press. Okay, so Exercise. here we go. Feet hip bone width apart. Sit down to a squat, bicep curl, overhead press. So make sure that it's actually a hammer curl, okay? So palms are facing each other. Hammer, press it up, boom, good. Keep your elbows close together when you bring those arms overhead. Squeeze those elbows together, that's it. So inhale on the way down, squeeze your glutes at the top, exhale, give me an overhead press. Beautiful, 15 seconds left, down, nice and low. Team. Let's do this. Push your glutes back, chest is lifted, shoulders down. We have time for one more. Down, squeeze the glutes, press it up, and release. Good job. So we're going to go now onto the other leg, left leg lunges right, and reverse lunge. I'm not going to use any weights. Coach Nelson has a pair of 15s in his hand. All right, right five, four, three, two, here we go. Lunge to the left, Exercise. feet together, that same leg, reverse lunge. You got it, lunge to the left. Up and reverse lunge. Beautiful, good job you guys. Keep that chest lifted, look at us, don't look down. There you go, I'm gonna go sideways. That's it, reverse lunge, perfect, side lunge. So you're bringing, if you have dumbbells in hand, you're bringing either dumbbell, each dumbbell on either side of your foot. 15 seconds left. Now when you do your side lunge, lean forward slightly. You're gonna feel that nice stretch in your inner thigh. We have time for one more. Let's do it. Down, up, reverse lunge. Awesome job. Okay, so that, that lunge, um, sorry, the bicep curl overhead combo, we're doing the same thing, no squat. This time, palms are forward. So let me demonstrate. Bicep curl, flip it, palms face us, overhead. All right, here we go. So, 
bicep curl, flip, come forward, overhead press. Good. So I have my canned goods in my hand. Coach Nelson has his dumbbells. Let's put one foot in front of the other. Just widen our base just a little bit. Curl, flip it, overhead press, flip, and release. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, press it up. Good. That's it. Bicep curl, flip, exhale, overhead press. Beautiful. Keep that chest up. Keep your head up. That's it. Up. We have six seconds left. You can get one more in. Curl. Flip. Press. Down. And release. Good job. So let's hold on to our canned goods. Hold on to your dumbbells. Curtsy lunge. Now to get into this properly, have your feet hip bone width apart. Slide the left leg back. First, straight back. And now bring it over to the right side. Try to keep your hips squared. Now we curtsy, down, and up. Now I know this move <laughs> is especially challenging for my gentlemen, but we're working that booty, and trust me, your spouses will thank me later, okay? Not much of a natural <laughs> no, move for us men natural. here, but yes. it does tighten up those glutes. Yes, that's it. You're gonna feel that. You feel it right now, actually. You feel it? Feeling it. Good. In the last 10 seconds, we're going to pulse in the basement, all right? Ooh. All right, last 10 seconds, here we go. Pulse, 10, 9, stay low. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good Ooh. job. The next one is a chest fly and overhead tricep extension combo. So, arms are at a 90 degree angle, okay? We're going to squeeze our elbows together, and your canned goods or your dumbbells are together. Bring them up overhead. And then you're gonna bring the dumbbells or your kettlebells behind your head. All right, let's try it together. And squeeze them together. Drive it up, bring it behind your head, up, back to the 90 degree angle, and close again. Open, overhead, glue them together. Behind your head, so we're working our chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Good, and close it up. Up, behind your head. Up, down, and open. Squeeze the chest, lift it overhead, bring it behind your head. Good, now when you bring those dumbbells or your canned goods overhead, squeeze them together, right here. Squeeze them, squeeze them. They're gonna wanna flare apart, don't do that. Good, last one, and open, beautiful. So we're curtsy lunging on the other leg. So, how did we get into that position? We glide, this time the right foot all the way back, straight back, and then step over to the left side. Okay, chest is lifted, shoulders back. Bend both knees as low as you can. Good, keep that chest up, okay? That's it, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and as much as possible, square off the hips so that they're pointing towards us. You got it. Good. So you at the back. So it's crossed over. That's it. In the last 10 seconds, we're gonna pulse. So this is literally a curtsy. I know it feels uncomfortable for my men, Ooh. but we're shaping and sculpting that booty. Good. On this one, we're gonna hold it down and pulse. 10, nine, eight, chest up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ha, ah, good job. Starting to get the sweat on. Okay, bent over row with a kick back. So I'm holding on to my canned goods. I'm gonna hinge over at the waist, bend my elbows, kick it back, Bend my elbows, come down, stand up. Ready, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, bend two, extend three, bend four, down five, up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, you're doing amazing. Five, six, one. Two, squeeze those triceps. Beautiful, stand up. Six, and one. Two, three, four, five, six. One more. One, two, three, four, five, up, six. Good job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna work the back of our shoulders and our upper back. We hinge over at the waist. We're gonna lift our left arm up only, slight micro bend in the elbow, and then the right. Okay, we're gonna tick tock. All right, in three, two, 
one hinge over at the waist. Left arm, boom, and then right. Just the shoulder height. So the opposite arm gets to rest for a second while the other arm works. Again, working your rear delt. That's it. Upper back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale when you lift the arm. Inhale. Inhale. That's it. Tick tock. Good. Kind of like a pendulum. That's it. Good. Core is nice and tight. Suck your belly button into your spine. Beautiful. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Every single time. Blow it away. Good team. So you always exhale on the harder parter. Harder parter parter. Harder parter. <laughs> <laughs> harder part of the movement. Last one. Time. Good job. Ooh. Last but not least, our plank. So for my beginners, I'm going to elevate myself on a stool, okay? However, if you're not new to exercising, you're on your forearms and your toes, okay? So let me go sideways so you can see. Here we go. So, no matter what version you're doing, your shoulders are directly underneath your elbows. Now, I'm elevated to, al to um, alleviate pressure in my lower back, okay? So this is an option for my beginners out there. And another option is to prop up right onto your hands. So if you have a staircase nearby, a sturdy table or stool, you can use this for your plank. All right? Now, again, suck your belly button into your spine. I want your hips squared off. Sit, team. Come on, stick with us. 10 seconds. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and your feet are about hip bone width apart. We're almost there. In five seconds, we start from the very, very. Three, two, one, and time. Beautiful. Back to the beginning which was our side lunge and reverse lunge. For my beginners, I'm not using any weight, okay? I'm just keeping my hands on my hips. I'm dripping over here. Okay, Coach Nelson's got some weights in his hands. So we're gonna lunge to the right, ready? Lunge to the right. And reverse lunge, same leg. Good, repeat. So again, push off that back leg. Keep your chest lifted and your shoulders back during that reverse lunge, okay? Try to avoid leaning forward. Good. Feeling that stretch in your inner thigh. And back up. Good. 20 seconds left. Lunge. So you're putting your dumbbells on either side of your foot. If you're with Coach Nelson. Down. Push off. Good. Reverse lunge. And again. 10 seconds, you guys. We're almost there. Woo -hoo. strong. Good. Last time, okay? Push. And reverse lunge. Beautiful work. Our squat. Bicep which is a hammer curl and an overhead press. So feet are hip bone width apart, arms are by your side, palms facing each other, okay? So we're gonna sit down, push your hips back Exercise. as low as you can without your heels coming off the floor. Come up, give me a hammer curl and an overhead press. Squeeze those elbows together, okay? And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, good. That's it, nice and easy. A little bit of brain gym, a little bit of choreography, but it's not too bad. Just number it out. That's it, and stick with us. We're going at a nice pace, not too fast. Beautiful. Exhale, when you press the arms overhead. And one, two, three, four, five, six, one squat, and we're done. Good job. So now we're side lunging and reverse lunge with the left leg. No weights for my beginners, okay? If you're new to exercising, stay with me. Stay with me, you're doing amazing. Okay, lunging with the left leg, ready? Ready. And here we go, lunge, push off, same leg, reverse lunge. Yes, good. So there's no reason why you can't work out with us, guys. 20 minutes, that's it. If you're watching the rebroadcast, don't just watch. Throw on your running shoes. Grab some canned goods and get a workout in. That is our mission here, is that we want to inspire and motivate you guys to move, even if it's just for 20 minutes. Yes, yes, yes. 17 seconds left, we're almost there. Come on, this is awesome for all fitness levels. It's a great little workout, especially, you know, if you're brand new to exercising, you can do 20 minutes. Five seconds, good, and time. Good, now we're back to our bicep curl and overhead press, I've got my canned goods. This time, palms facing forward, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth. Give me a big shoulder roll first, chest is lifted, shoulders back. Let's put one foot in front of the other. 
Now, bicep curl. Keep it at your shoulders. Flip it. It's still at your shoulders. Then drive it up. Back down. Reverse the direction, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys are doing amazing. Exhale, press it up. Good, inhale back down. Keep the dumbbells close to your shoulders. Good, press. Yes. Keep that belly button into your spine. 10 seconds left. Blow it away. Good, we have time for one more. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful work, guys. Okay, so curtsy lunge. I'm not gonna hold anything. You can hold on to those weights. So how do we get in the proper position? So take that, uh, so your left foot back, and then across. Down we go. Down and up, good. That's it. Keep your chest lifted, your shoulders back. Beautiful. Bend both knees as low as you can. You might not be able to go as low as us, and that's perfectly fine. You go as low as you can, okay? Go as low as you can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go as low as, as you can. can. <laughs> Woo! That's it, we're so almost just there. Remember, just trying to distract myself from the, the pain, the Your burn. <laughs> okay. Last 10 seconds, we're gonna pulse. Ready, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Don't move. Three, two, and one. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Our chest fly, overhead tricep combo. I got my can good. Can so our arms, leg? what's that? Are we doing the other leg? Not yet. Oh, okay. I'm giving you a break. Aren't you Ooh. grateful? I am grateful. Okay, so bicep curls to get into it properly. Exercise. Flip it. Arms are a 90 degree angle. So a little higher, Coach Nelson. Squeeze them together. Lift it up behind your head and lift. Back down and open. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, bring it right behind your neck, you guys. And then squeeze your head with your elbows right here. Squeeze your head with your elbows because they're gonna want to flare out. Don't let them. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Now we're on the other side with our Percy lunge. I got a pool of sweat going on here. <laughs> Good, 20 minutes. Look at that. Okay, so feet are hip bone width apart. Slide the right leg back, bring Exercise. it across, and down we go. Good. That's it. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to keep your hips squared off. They're like headlights pointing towards us. Good. You got it. Come on. You know when you're working, when your sweat's dripping down your lips. <laughs> and like your, and lip. your eyeballs. <laughs> and your eyelids. That's it. That's it, team. Come on. Stick Ten with more me. seconds. And then we're going to pulse. Almost there, almost there. Woo. Here we go, ready? Pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Don't move. Three, sink down lower. Two, and one. Wow. Yes. Good job. Bent over row with your kick back. Okay, I'm grabbing my canned goods. Six steps again. All right, roll your shoulders back, chest up. Bend over at the waist for one. Elbows bend for two. Kick it back three. Bend four. Arms straight five. Up six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Nice flat back. Good. Inhale. Big exhale. And up. Good. One, two. Squeeze those elbows together. And arise, hinge at the waist. Squeeze the triceps. Good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Give me a rest. Good job. Okay. Our bent over one arm lateral raises. Okay. So, tick tock like a pendulum. Remember, hinge over at the waist. Nice flat back, one arm at a time, so the other arm gets to rest. 
Ready? We're almost Three, there, guys. We're almost two, there. Two, flat back, Exercise. left arm first. Up, and then exhale, inhale. Exhale, light micro bend in the elbow, please. Good, suck that belly button into your spine. That's it. Inhale, blow it away. Good, up. We're almost there, guys. We've got a plank hold after this, and our 20 minute hit workout is done. Done. Beautiful. Good job, come on. Come on. Almost there. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, and time. Beautiful. Last but not least, our plank. All right, all of my beginners, I'm gonna stay elevated. Remember, if you don't have anything, you can always come up into a high plank, hands and toes. But if you have a sturdy chair or the second step of your staircase available, go ahead, place your elbows on the second step. Elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Nice, long, neutral spine. Hips are squared off. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvic bone under. Hips are, are your feet, are hip bone width apart. Spread your shoulder blades apart. Try not to sink in those shoulders. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Got the shaking. Sometimes going the hardest movement is an isometric movement, which is an isometric hold, not moving at all. 10 seconds left. Focus on your breathing, guys. We're almost done. Five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! Round of applause. Round of applause. Oh my goodness, let me turn off this uh, timer first. Wow. Wow. We I am spine. Take a look. 20 minutes. <laughs> I am dripping. Like, I don't know. Ew. <laughs> Did you see that, Chris? Let's give him a high, high kick. Yeah! Mwah.